Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how uh, CORS or cross origin resource sharing works. So uh, before we see a demo using Amazon S3 service, let's try to understand what CORS is. So let's say you are hosting a website on domain one. So let's call it www.domain1.com and uh, your website is trying to access resource uh, from another domain, let's call it domain two. Uh, then uh, by default, browser does not allow this operation, right? So uh, if you are hosting a website on domain one and that website is trying to access uh, certain resources from domain two, then it is by default blocked by all browsers. And this is what course is. And uh, if you want to turn this on then you need to send special headers in the response uh, to turn this course uh, settings on right so uh, we'll see in a moment uh, a demo uh, to see how course works and how do you enable it for uh, your website uh, but I would highly recommend to go over the uh, course document that AWS has provided uh, in the documentation so let's head on to Amazon S3 service. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create two buckets uh, with static website hosting and uh, we'll see how cost works uh, using this. So let's say, let's name it OS FG course test one. Uh, let's just go ahead and create it. And similarly, let's create another bucket uh, of test two and let's go ahead and create it. Now let's go ahead into bucket one and turn on static website hosting. So go to properties, go to static website hosting and turn this on. So index document will just add index.html and an error will just add error.html and just save it. Okay. So now we actually need to upload this files index.html and uh, error.html. So let's go ahead and see how the, how that looks. So if you see index.html, uh, it's a simple HTML file, but the important thing to note here is that you have a div with the ID load div, and in the script, we are trying to load uh, the content of this particular div tag from somewhere else. And I'm just going to name it load.html, uh, which is another file right here. Uh, and this is the content that is it has. Hello, this is from load.html. So basically when index.html loads, the script will try to uh, access load.html, get its content and load it in the uh, load diff tag. And finally, error is simply uh, an HTML, a simple HTML file with some error content, but we don't have to worry about this since it will not be used. Since in our case, index will always be accessible. So let's go ahead and upload our uh, files. So let's go ahead and add all three. We'll click on next, make sure uh, this access to these files is public, given that we have a static website that we are hosting. Click on next, next and upload. Uh, now, since it is uploaded, let's go ahead and take a look at this website. So if you try to open it, you can see that uh, the content, hello, this is from load.html. Uh, loads fine and you will you are able to see that right so let's go ahead and uh, try to uh, load this content from another domain just to see how course works so we'll go to osfg test 2 bucket uh, we'll do similarly turn on static website hosting for this bucket as well uh, just call it index.html and we can just save it now this has turned on we can upload uh, our files here so I'm just gonna upload load.html here because I'm not really worried about other files uh, getting loaded here so let's just click on next make sure it is publicly accessible and then finally upload this and let's quickly check if this is accessible from the website so let's go to properties static website hosting and open the site uh, so obviously we haven't uploaded index.html so the wipes though the site is not accessible so but let's just check uh, load.html is accessible or not so it is accessible so what we are going to do next is we are going to index.html of website one and instead of loading it from load.html from the same domain we are going to load it from uh, a different domain so this index.html is ho hosted on osfg cost test one and now we are trying to uh, load load.html from osfg cost test two 
right and that's what we did some time back so uh, let's go ahead and upload uh, this particular uh, new index.html in uh, OSFC test one so let's go ahead and do that next uh, as usual make sure it's public next next and upload and now that you have uploaded let's go ahead and try to refresh this and you can see that the content is not getting loaded so let's quickly do an inspect element sorry so let's do an inspect element and go to console and you can see that the cross origin resource uh, request is blocked you can see this error so let's just quickly erase this and try to load it one more time and you can see that the same uh, error comes up that it says that it, you are trying to uh, request a resource from OSFG cost test 2 domain whereas the current domain is OSFG cost test 1 and this by default is not allowed by any browser and which is why it is not loading so to rem uh, remedy this all you need to do is set uh, the header access control allow origin uh, in the response uh, from where you are trying to load uh, the file and Amazon S3 uh, lets you do that uh, using cost configuration so you can go to bucket 2 where you have load.html uh, you can go to permissions and there's a cost configuration tab you can click on it and uh, Amazon will give you a sample template that uh, you can save so you can see allowed origin here so you can add a bucket uh, once origin here right or you can just leave it as asterisk which means that any uh, particular website can request resources uh, from this particular domain right so let's just keep it as uh, asterisk for now and click on save and once you have done that let's go back to our website uh, clear the errors and try to loaded right so you can see that this uh, content is loaded again and that is how course works so uh, now now you can see that though our website is hosted on this particular domain it is able to uh, load resource that is hosted in another domain and by default this is uh, restricted by browser but you can uh, work around this particular issue by turning on course which is cross origin resource sharing uh, for your website and as you saw AWS S3 provides uh, you this functionality to turn on course for your bucket so that's all for course uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you